back in the ring today after having a bit of a break getting his knee reconstructed. How is he? Is he in top condition? Well, orono has got to prove himself now and uh, I think you're going to find a different Orono in the ring now. He's going to come back strong and hard because some people have said he's passed it after his knee injuries and that, but Orono is going to prove a point. He's taking that title back. You can see it in his eyes. I saw him in the changing room. He was hungry. And look at the eyes of Surrey as he comes in the ring too. Now there's a fighter that's really proved himself to be first class. Coming to Bangkok, winning the coveted Lumpini Championship. Surrey undergoing extensive preparation for this fight. Super, is he up to it? Yes, I think so. Here we can see Sammy Kapshi, who's uh, Europe's major promoter. And in actual fact, is arranging the live television to France from this. There they are, the French commentators. We're, they're right beside us too, and it's going to be very interesting to see how this first round gets underway because Orono starting a little slow, as he often does, but believe me, he's going to pack some dynamite later on. And uh, see Sari there jabbing out the left and down the low leg kick too. The low leg kick, probably the aim, but the move, no doubt, of Orono. That is a little bit suspect there today. Yeah, I think everybody knows Orono. There's a hard knee there. kick there. That was a hard one. That one really did get through. But if Orono will need to watch it he does not get himself injured with that knee, but uh, you've got to give him 100% for his effort. Morono's one of those fighters that just never gives up, and although he may be carrying a slight injury with that knee, I'm sure that, that Sari's going to have to fight all the way to win this contest. Yeah, all I know there, he's, he, you've got to remember, he comes out like a tie. The first round, they come out very slow and try and pace themselves and find a way to, to find loopholes in their opponent. But you can see Surrey's aware that Orono's got a sore leg and it's just come out of reconstruction. He's aiming at it. And there goes Orono now, coming right into the fray with those punches. Now, Orono's known for his very solid punches. And Surrey's going to have to watch out that he doesn't uh, take any risks and make sure he covers himself up because Orono, if he gets the opportunity, he'll come in very, very hard. There's uh, Surrey now jumping left and right. Now, certainly uh, Surrey indicates he's got all the weapons here with the solid elbow strike then to onto Orono. And uh, certainly... Uh, Sorry, he's not lacking anything in the skill. Oh, there you go. I don't know, just dropped him with a straight. That was a solid punch, but no count given. I'm not going to the referee's given the benefit of the doubt there that it wasn't really a knockdown. Oh, and, and the tie rules, if it uh, shows that, there's, uh, that he has a chance to get straight up, then they don't put a count on. He got straight up indeed. Yeah. He did do that. And now Sari's there coming straight back at Arona. Arona going into the grapple, the first grapple for the contest. In goes a solid knee there by Arona. Aimed at that midriff section, the leg grab, turned to go prior. Then he comes in hard. Arona now trying to turn the heat up on Sari here in this first round. Yeah, the referee's got good control over the fight. Colonel Tito is one of the best referees in Lumpini Stadium, so he really knows his job. I think Sully's making a mistake here. He's starting to play with Olino, but Olino's always been a slow starter. I think we really need to look into the second and third round. Yeah, really, if Sarri's going to put pressure on Morano, he should be doing it right now because he needs to earn respect for Morano. That head high kick that Morano got in a minute ago, well, that was uh, sort of uh, indicative of the fact that Morano has got his uh, head high kicks working again, so there's no restrictions in the way he's going to be kicking in this contest. And Arono goes in there now looking for the chance to go grappling, but can't do so. Low leg kick on to Sari. Sari's now in defence, coming back out of Arono, but Arono's holding back now. What's the way Sari's still using those heavy punches? Is that his tactic to keep on punching and trying to wear Arono down? Arono slipped there, I think. Yeah, no, no, that was no, a slip, no, definitely. No Sari's a hard puncher, and he's taken. He, he's only won his fights all by punching. He gets in there and he goes solid, hoping to get a knockout by the first or third round. If this fight goes a distance, I really think we've got to go Olino's way because uh, Olino's experience of doing the five rounds all the time. Sully, most of his fights go one, two rounds and he gets a big punch on and down they go like he did with Songchai at Lumpini Stadium for the world title. There's that punch in the slow motion of Arono. Certainly didn't get through the defence of Sari. Now Sari's going to be very careful that he doesn't allow Arono to get in too close to him. Particularly if he drops his guard, it could be very serious indeed for Sari, the French champion. End of round two, Arono. Slow start, but coming in strong now as he gets into the grapple. Test his strength there as Sari fires in the knee strike. There's a teeth push kick there by Arono. Arono trying to get in close, punches. I think back comes Sari. Yeah, I can see Arano, he's worried about his leg a little bit there. He's keeping back a bit. I think he's, yeah, yeah, you can definitely see it. 
Well, no, the snake's not hurting, but he's trying to protect it. He knows he's got to go five rounds with this boy. There's those sweeping roundhouse kicks of Sari aimed at the knee area of Arono. Arono's now got the grappling irons on in the grapple, but you see the way that Sari's able to push him away. Solemn left punch there by Arono. Arono taking a bit of punishment as he gets in close to Sari. Left and right, oh. puts the grappling irons on. He's turning up the heat now. Arono's starting to come in close now. Song Chaitathanasawan really knows his job in matching this fight. Good knee strike there by Arono. Now Arono uh, puts his head out up to Asari just to say, come and hit me if you can, Asari obliges, then grabs a leg, chance to go ploughing and pushes Arono onto the, onto the ropes. Arono straight back into the centre of the ring again, trying to get in close to. Asari, Asari puts the grappling irons on him, he goes with the knees. The Frenchman's doing okay in this round. He's doing a bit good. of pressure onto good. Arono at the moment. Interesting to see what tactics um, Sari is going to adopt. I see that uh, a little bit of frustration and desperation into Arona as he tries to get in close, trying to punch down Sari. If it goes the distance, it would seem to indicate that maybe Sari would have an advantage there because those uh, legs of Arona could be a little bit suspect if it goes the full five rounds. I, I, I see, I think differ there. I think what Arona is doing is he's getting his distance because he's always a slow starter. You can see him looking, he just moves forward. Sully's starting to go back. I think we're going to find by the third and fourth round that uh, Sully's going to start moving back more and, and Arona is going to start taking the pace up. And I think he'll pick it up with his knees. Arona's always been hard with his knees. And uh, he's you now he's just wearing Sully down. I, I think he's taking, he's saying, come on, is this all you've got? Can you give me any more? And he certainly is giving him more at the moment, Arono, as he comes in hard onto Sari. Sari also back onto Arono. There's punches left and rights by Sari. Back with a long roundhouse kick by Arono. Gets in close, trying to put the grappling irons in to go grappling. Now he charges after Sari with a low leg kick. Those low leg kicks could hurt Sari. He wouldn't take too many kicks to the leg in, in France. He'd probably find those low leg kicks fairly hard to handle, particularly with a fighter as experienced as Arono. Well, someone like Sully, uh, he, he can't get so many fights in France, eh, because he's, he's too a high calibre. So he tends to come over here and mix it with the ties and every chance he can get. Well, he's the, uh, currently, in this fight, he is the Lumpini champion, and uh, it's up to Arona to take that championship off him. And Arona is now putting the pressure on to Sari. Sari winning by knockdown in, in Lumpini. He's now back here again for this big, big contest against Arono, who is a great champion in his own right. Arono from Thailand up against Sari from France. Into the centre of the ring they go now. Punches hard by Sari. Sari really putting the pressure on Arono here in the second round. Arono started slow. He's now getting into the long slog of it as we go towards the end of the second round. T seconds remaining as we see that both fighters now slugging it out in the centre of the ring. Interesting to see the way in which Sari moves around the wing. He's trying he really to keep is his quite good, isn't he, the way he's able to keep away from uh, the aggression of Arona. Now Arona's got the bear hug into the grapple, firing in the knees. Sari pushed onto the ropes. Sari's smart. He's locking him up there and waiting for the referee to come in and break it. But I think uh, you find now that Arona's got his distance now. Arono determined, coming forward, onto Sari. Sari, left and right punches into Arono. Oh, he's him. taking him now. Arono's taking a few to the head there. It's got to be affecting him. Certainly is. Look at Sari there. He's got it showing great style, keeping away, dancing around the ring, then peppering in those punches. Into the grapple they go. Grappling irons are on. Who gets the better of this one? And looks like Sari brushing Arono aside. Arono comes back, wants to go grappling again. Oh, look at that. There he goes. Count there, certainly had to be counted. Yeah, yes, Colonel T Lux put a count on him. Arona being pushed across into the neutral corner. A full count of eight been given. And now Sari right behind on points now. That's a blow for him. Yeah, he didn't want to be knocked down in the second round, and that's just what happened to him. Yeah, on the ten point must system, there's definitely going to be an eight count. There's going to definitely be eight points now. Look at the ferocious way in which Arona's putting those punches out now. He realizes that he could even knock him he's out. He's got a chance, yeah, he's got a there's chance. There's a leg grab plow attempt by Sari. Can't push Arona away. Elbow by Arono. Now Arono goes on the charge. He's after Sari. If he can nail him. Here comes Arona in with punches and a strong oh, Sully's, Sully's, Sully's in, trouble. in trouble. He's in trouble there. He's in trouble. There's the leg grab by Arona. Coming forward like a steamroller. Here he goes. And now look at Arono now. Sizing the opportunity. Realising the knockdowns on here if he's good enough. And believe me, he's good enough. And if Sari can keep away from him, I'm sure he's going to be very heartened to hear that bell ring. 
Sorry, he's got a bad habit of ducking out on the ropes here. One day he's going to get caught there with a knee if he's not careful. Oliver knows not a not a standard boxer. He thinks, you know, there's, sorry. Yeah, there's the strength of Barono. Sivu is the way he just pushed uh, Sari back. And this another thing, I suppose, that Sari doesn't know much about. That's grappling in terms of, of this of this caliber. Now Song punches though by Sari. He's not going to give up. Well, just Sully comes to Padilla and he trains quite often and he grapples with the Thais all the time. So he, he knows his job there and he's fought some of the top boxers in Thailand like Somchai is no no second grade boxer. The Lump ex Lumpini champion was one of the best in the country and Sully just oh, took him apart. By, uh, Arono. Well, maybe if he can match the, uh, the grappling with Arono, um, he has a good chance. But uh, uh, look at the way Arono's throwing that elbow. I'd be very careful if I was sorry to keep away from those elbow blows of Arono. I think, we're, I think we're seeing now that it's starting to change There's the now. punch. There's that punch by Arono. Certainly was a clean punch, and uh, Sari went down. There's a knee strike by Arono. Well, that definitely hurt him. Look, he's hurt. A double knee strike, and then comes Arono in with the elbow. So desperate times now for Sari as we move into the centre stage of this contest. Arono, the super black from uh, Ubon Ratchitani, up there against Sari from France. Sari, the, the world champion in many respects, a Lumpini champion, and now he's been tested here tonight by Arono. Boy, Olano looks dazed. He looks dazed there. Head high kick dazed. now by Sari. You can see his legs are wobbling a bit. He's trying to get it back together. Where did it come from? Is that from the punches yeah, of Sari? Yeah, a flurry of punches back there. Yeah, but I'm sure he'll recover. That's sort of one of the traits about Arono. He can take a lot of punishment. He oh, there's back another one and another one. Solid punches by Sari now, really putting the tests on to Arono. And Arono now has got the grappling irons on. Bear hug. Referee says break. Got into the style, mate. That's what happens. See if you explain how that works. So why did the referee break that grapple? Well, if, if he's holding him against the ropes and there's no way to break it and uh, we're getting close to the end of the fight, the referee tends to speed up and, and break them and pull them out into the centre to keep the excitement going. The referee's job is to keep the fight exciting as well, as well as safe. Very proactive are the referees of Muay Thai. And there's now Arono who's starting to grind down Sari. I sort of sense that you know, Arono is very match fit for this contest he looks like he's been training extremely hard and uh, Sari's going to be tested all the way in this contest well you've got to look at it Olano standing in front of 100,000 people in his peers elbow attempt by Sari missed oh. in comes Arono with the knees knees and grappling by Arono Arono turning on the heat here in round three as uh, the trying to tire him down. Down. It certainly is working too. I think the uh, Arona tends to take the fight that, over the that, full nine rounds. There's the grappling irons on again. Sari being pressed against the rope. Now he reverses it around. The referee says it's stalemate again as the fighters pull on the ropes and breaks it. And now Sari. Sari's getting tired. Now you see when he, when he gets caught with the knee from Olano, he's putting his hand down trying to block the knee. This is a bad move leaving the top half wide open. Yeah, Olano yeah. setting him up here, you can see it coming. But Arono is sticking to the, the, his uh, fight plan of yeah, grappling when he gets the opportunity plan. and he's going to use those knee strikes. There, there it goes. goes. There. Good knee aimed at the head, just missed. In oh, goes a solid game. knee to the stomach. And again. Two to the ribs. And then a down step to the, the uh, thigh the hands as went down. The hands went down. Certainly under a lot of pressure here is Sari as Arono, the Thai champion, after the belt of Sari, puts the pressure onto him here right now. Well, what, what would you be doing if you were Sari now, uh, Sifu? Would you be trying to keep away or something? I certainly to wouldn't be up there clashing now. I'd be jabbing and push kicking and, and working on, on Olano's leg. I wouldn't be up there uh, grappling with, uh, with Olano. He's too strong. That seems to be the trap that Arona has set. He wants him to go grappling and Sari's falling in for it. If Sari uses his skills, he's very good at evasion to get away, away from his opponent, and that's what he should be doing. I think Sammy in the corner there is going to be telling him, going to, going to be telling uh, um, Sari that he should keep away and work on that knee. I don't think they quite realise the extensive uh, pain that Olano's goes under with us when he gets hit in the leg with the with the leg kicks.
Well, let's see if uh, Sari takes your advice here in this round. We're getting towards the last two now. This is important for Sari. Yeah, there he goes, there he goes. He's getting away from uh, Arono because Arono is grinding him down. Arono now, though. Mike wants to go grapple. He enjoys the grapple, the test of strength, and he fires in the knees with repetition. Rep there's a strong oh, strength for Arono as he pushes uh, Sari down on, on the camera. What's the rules on that throw in the way, Ty? Well, it's not a foul as long as you don't... don't uh, when you sweep the leg, use the top of the foot. If you use the bottom of the foot or the sole of the foot, it's a foul. So in that case, it's not a foul. Also, uh, in terms of the, the wrestling throws, uh, they are outlawed in Muay Thai. Yes, so you're not allowed to you're not allowed to use the soles of the feet and, and uh, how they say Thai then car. You're, you're not allowed to do any of that leg sweep. And there's the grapple again. The referees say it's a spell, mate, and breaks them. Now Arono charges after Sari. Sari left oh, and right coming punches. back. He's coming Solid back. Solid punch onto Arono. Sari not giving in. Putting the pressure back onto Arono. Arono in the clinch once once more. He, he likes to go grappling. He should be working on that leg, Patrick. Or he should be working on that front leg of Arono's. Down. Well, he hasn't been really concentrating on that week of uh, Arono. He's been quite prepared to go grappling with Arono, and that could be his undoing because, because Arono is extremely tough in the grapples. Now Arono charges after Sari. He wants to put it into it if he can. He wants the short distance, but Sari is a very tough competitor, and he won't go down very easily. You see, a lot of these European boxers don't understand how the referees give the points in them. In the first round, they come out hard, but, and this is a knockdown, 90% the first round is raw. They burn out all their energy, whereas the ties tend to start off slow and come on hard in the fifth. They pace themselves nicely, the Thai fighters. And they're, they're very experienced, but they know how to go the long haul. Now the referees watch you closely as a run up. Oh, that, uh, that, uh, elbow. There's another elbow. Another elbow by Sari back onto a run up. A run up like he's getting his own elbow. He's he's standing standing there. There. He's saw the way Sari able to respond with a, with a solid elbow, but not enough to stop a run up from going forward. He puts the pressure back onto Sari, and you can see that Sari is certainly looking a bit tired now. Yeah, he's finding hard to get his win. I think he hasn't really done his research on Olano. I think he's thought of Olano's past that it's not going to be too hard for me. He doesn't realize that this is one of the most important days in a Thai person's life. He's fighting in front of his king. And a hundred thousand fans to beat. Now Arono coming in hard on Vasari. Sari backing off from Arono. Then he goes in with a low leg kick. Watch the way Arono now goes stalking. Stalking on to Sari. Sari been pushed into the corner onto the ropes. On goes the grappling irons again by Arono. Arono looking very confident at the moment as he starts to wear Sari down. Look at the way that Sari keeps on grappling with Arono. That doesn't seem to be the right tactic for him to be using. Well, we'll have to see now who's won it. We'll hand it over to the judges. Who do you think's got, got the decision, Patrick? Well, I'm certain that Arona, after that knockdown, that will put um, Sari just too far behind the points calculations are concerned. But nevertheless, uh, let's give credit to Sari. He went the whole entire distance with Arona. Took some very solid punches and knees. And there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> of the International Muay Thai Rollerweight Championship, Arona from Thailand, coming back in grand style. And Sari put up a very game performance series with that head high kick onto a rhino never stopped trying but at the end it was a rhino just too good and coming up the middleweight international world muay thai title fight between sakmon kong that legendary fighter from thailand here today to fight against the holland